St. John chapter 10, verse 10, the thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops with great millstone, the one that taught us the whole truth, the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere. I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. My God's for people here for a bit. The thief coming from not. The only thing he coming to do. Is to steal, kill, and destroy. I mean, what what part of that don't you Israelites hear or get? I mean, it's really mind boggling, you know. I mean, a person been doing you dirty for over like five hundred years, and you you like um, he ain't really been doing that much. What? Yeah, he, he he ain't really been doing that much. I mean, he been, he been destroying us like I don't know what, but it ain't, it ain't really that bad. What what are you talking about, Israel? Crime is on the rise. Wickedness is on the rise. Why? Because the wicked is ruling the earth. Remember John 24, Job chapter 9, verse 24. The earth was given into the hands of the wicked, man. Let's get that again. St. John, when, when will you ever learn, Israel? He's not here to do you any good. You still looking stupid in them long line voting. It's mind boggling. But we already know it's set up through the spirit of your how about Shemar Shai. But let's get it again. St. John chapter 10, verse 10. The thief, the thief now, not your friend, not your loved one, you know, not someone who cares about you, but the thief cometh not. But for to steal, he stole everything, man. He's still stealing. That's why, yeah, yeah. How about Shemel Shah has given two thirds of our people the spirit of slumber, man, to where they can't see nothing. That's why when it says in St. Matthew 13 and 16, Blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear, it, it truly is a blessing to be able to see what the hell is going on, man. Two thirds have been blinded. They don't see what's going on, even though they see what's going on, right? He come to steal, kill, and destroy, man. So ain't nobody safe from this devil, man. Nobody. And, and he getting ready to come in with great wrath. I am come. This is the Lord speaking. Lord Yahweh Shai, who they even call Jesus. I am come that they might have life. And that they might have it more abundantly. So the only way we're going to live because this is most definitely not living, you know? What you call watching a basketball game? You, you call that living, man? Huh? Watching a hockey game? You, you call that living? Paying as high as rent, you call that living, right? Paying experience, not knowing if you're going to have your job the next day, you, you call that living, right? Don't know, you don't know what's going to happen to your babies. You, that, that's living, though, right? All that is living, right? You're living good, right? It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood, right? Could you be mine? Would you be mine? I want to be your neighbor. This is the place that we're living in, right? Come on now. Come on, Israel. You need you need to just wake the hell up and smell the coffee, man. We are, we're in terrible times, man. You see? Revelation chapter 6, verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red. Represent Sleazy E. And power was given to him that set thereon to take peace. To take peace. You marching for peace, right? You fighting for peace, right? You fighting for rights, right? Why, why do you have to fight for God given rights if everything's all peaceful? If you're living in peaceful times and everything's all lovey dovey, why are you, why are you marching for, for rights, God given rights? You know. If, the, if everything is all peaceful, the scripture says there's a time for peace, and there's a time for hate, there's a time for love, and there's a time for war. You should already know what time you in, man. Once again, Revelation chapter 6, and, and none of this is going to change until the Lord come. You need to get that through your head. And there went another horse that was red, and power was given to him 
to set their own, to take peace from the earth. So this man was given the power to take peace from the earth. Why don't you see that? You know, everybody walking around looking all docile. A deer in the headlights, man. Blowing spit bubbles, not knowing what the hell is going on. He was given power to take peace from the earth, man. You know, and then you shocked by, by, by this man M.O. And his tactics. You know what I'm saying? His schemes, his plots, his devices. You're shocked, you know what I'm saying? When he does certain things. Well, if you've been reading, you would know the M.O. of this devil, right? Steal, kill, destroy, take peace from the earth. And, and that they shall kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. You can find, look, go to Genesis, the 27th chapter. 39 and 40, and you will see who was given that sword, man. That's what, 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 what part of Sirach 12 and 10 don't you understand when it says, never trust thine enemy. He was given the power to take peace on the earth, and you trust him? The, the, there's some of them good. What? The scriptures didn't never say that. The scriptures said, well, none they do of good. None of them. Not one of them. The Lord, like, yo, so what? They give you a raise on your job. You know, might give you a bonus shake. Never trust. Don't let your guard down. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 17. As for us, the Hebrew Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and they, our people are real gullible. You know, especially you old heads. You old heads, man. Just, just lay it down. Y'all more definitely through. You old heads ain't standing up for nothing no more. Y'all done laid it down already. They teach that you've nothing, man, but folly. You know? You older heads didn't teach our people nothing. To most definitely uh, us men. You old heads out there, man, didn't teach us men nothing. But just bow down, lay it down. Don't don't have a mind of your own. Don't think. No old heads told us taught us not to think, man. But but what did the Lord do? The Lord opened up our mind. Now we're thinking again. Lamentations chapter four. Verse 17, as for us, the Hebrew Israelites, our eyes have yet fell for our vain help. The help that you're going to is vain, man. Straight up vain. We have watched. And look, look, in our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. But that's who you run into, though. You look, you run into a nation that won't set up to save or help you. Now, how much sense does that make? You know, how much sense does that make? We pray to you, how about Shema Shah, to deliver us from this thief, from this murderer, from this crook, man. You know, they don't believe in God, man. All right, who you eagerly call God. All right? And we're going to prove it according to the Bible. Psalms chapter 10, verse 4, the wicked through the pride of his countenance. The wicked now, Esau, Edom, will not seek after God. The Most High is not in all his thoughts. So if, if he don't, if his mind is not on the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who ways or who ways are about life, then, then what, what's the uh, what's the opposite of life? Death. His ways, the devil, right, the deceiver. His ways are always grievous. Look, his ways are always grievous. Then you got people knocking on your door now. Why? Because this devil's ways are always grievous, man. High every damn thing. High rent, water, lights, internet, you name it, man. Food. And everything else up under the sun that I can name, but I ain't going to name it. You know, they'll be quick to take down a video of truth. Look, truth is hate speech, man. You see? His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. He have said in his heart, in his mind, this devil said in his mind, I shall not be removed. For I shall never be in adversity. And, and that's what that's what the guy in the Bible got him in a trick bag. He think he's never going to be in adversity. He think he's never going to go down. But look, we got news for you. You're going down soon, come. You're going down soon, come. Come on in with your great wrath. We already know according to the Bible exactly what you're going to do. So come on and come on with it. And the Lord going to come with it too. Revelation chapter 12. Verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe which means destruction. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. 
and of the sea for the devil. Remember, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked for the devil, the deceiver, sleaze and eat. Esau, Edom, has come down unto you having great wrath. Not love, but wrath, Israel. He, this devil will come down with great wrath. Why? Because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Well, yeah, you, you, you vote. You stand on the line looking real tacky. Voting, man. Remember, he's the hunter. He's known as a hunter, man. In Genesis 25, 27, he's known as the hunter, man. The Lord said the whole earth is going to rejoice when this devil go down, man. All right? The, look, the whole earth is going to rejoice when this devil go down. The scriptures tell us through peace he deceived the whole world. Through peace, he, look, let me let me get it. Let me, let me get it right quick. This is Daniel. Bear with me. Daniel chapter 8 verse 25. And through his policies, his legislation and all that, right? Also, he shall cause craft, witchcraft, to prosper in his hand. That's how, that's how he's ruling through witchcraft, right? It says, and he shall he shall magnify himself in his heart. That pride, right? And by peace, listen now, and by peace shall destroy many. All right, he had like he come to bring peace to you. He had like, he had like he's coming to help you. It says, by peace he shall destroy many. Isn't that his mo? You had like you had like that ain't the case. Ask the Native American Indians what his mo is. Oh, I forgot they ain't around no more. They dead as hell. I forgot they ain't around no more. They dead as hell. And by peace shall destroy many. He had like he's coming to help you every time. Oh yeah, we're here to help. Let's say you know they bringing swords out, right? He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, which is Lord Yahweh. But he shall be broken without hand. But the Lord is going to do him in, man. All right? The Lord's going to do him in. Remember, the Lord gave this devil power. Let's get it right quick. Daniel chapter 4, verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will. And set up, up over it the basis of men. So a base man is ruling right about now, Israel. A real base man is ruling right about now. He's straight up ruling right about now. You trusting him. Trusting a base man that ain't going to never change. He ain't going to change, Israel. He's not going to change. He just he getting worse. Our people don't see that, though. This devil is really getting worse. Let's get this Jeremiah chapter 13. Verse 23. Can the Ethiopian change his skin? No. Or the leopard his spots? No. Then may he also do good that are accustomed to do evil? He was created to be wicked. He was created to, to be the wicked, man. He was created to destroy, to kill, to rape, rob, murder, pillage. But oh yeah, it's, it's some good ones though, right? Look, look, you Israelites have lost your last um, cell of your head, your mind. You, you ain't got no brain cells up there at all. No brain cells at all. This is my final scripture. So Rock chapter 14, verse 5. He that is evil to himself. Remember, he's evil to himself, Israel. To whom we be good. He shall not take pleasure in his goods. There is none worse than he that envieth himself. And this is a recompense of his wickedness. And if he doeth good, he doeth it unwillingly. And at the last, he would declare his wickedness. Remember, at the last, he's going to declare his wickedness. Shalom.